So what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lily and today I want to react to this Nigerian YouTuber that recently traveled to Kenya and then came back and she has something to say in one of her videos. So I'm just going to take you through it and then I'll tell you why I'm saying she should apologize to Kenyans and to Ghanaians as well. All right, you have your rights, freedom of speech, but there are limits to it because I am a Nigerian and what you have just done will affect me. Yes, it will affect me like this bad. Tomorrow, when I apply to go to Kenya as a Nigerian to go tour, because I don't know, never can tell. Tomorrow, I may have money. This life, you never can rule anyone out. I may have money. I say, okay, let me go on a tour of Kenya to get to discover. After all, after all, it is my dream to travel the world, travel Africa. So if I apply for visit, uh, for a visa, they will use this your video against me, right? Or maybe when I get there, I heard that Kenya is visa on arrival. When I get there, they will use it against me. So I want to come out here and tell you to apologize to these people because of the video you did last. I watched that video. I don't know if that's the last video before this one will drop. Um, Travel with Miracle was talking about her experience in Kenya. So I decided to go down her channel to see her other videos. So I get to understand her grievances with Kenyans and Ghanaians. So I realized she was in Ghana sometimes ago. All right, nice. And she talked about how beautiful Ghana is. I took time to watch these videos. And she talked about how incredible and how well developed Kenya is. So I came back trying to understand why she made this video. Obviously, someone offended you. And this is why I keep saying that anytime you get a bad comment, do two things. Either you delete it or you reply to the person the way you feel. Rather than after seeing the comment, you come and sit down and make a video, you know, grouping the entire nation of wherever that person or people are from that have made you angry. You know, you you were the one that said Kenya is developed. So because they offended you with their comments, some of them offended you with their comments, you find it fit to do a video of that nature. I want to enjoin you today to apologize. And you talked about phone snatching. This thing is everywhere. You see Opie Waker for your state. According to that video, you say you're from Anambra State. You see Opie Waker for Nigeria. Tell me where the smartphone pass for this life. Tell me. If you have not had an experience there, probably because you are evil and you know the place very well, you know when to and when not to go there, there's smartphone there too. Mm? I'm not stopping you from coming out to say that, but the way you put it, this and that, um, because you have said their country is beautiful, they want to put your own country down. Now, my dear, let me tell you, the reason you are doing that is maybe for one reason, According to you, you said you didn't do research about travel content before you jump at it. You didn't know it was expensive. Hello, how come you didn't know? What were you thinking? Like, you thought that when you travel, the president was going to host you. The airlines you used to travel were going to give you tickets for free. Or you thought there will be someone waiting for you to give you a welcome and befitting party. It costs a lot of money to travel. I'm telling you, me that travel within Ghana, I, like, I mean, I don't have to fly. And I stay in some of the lowest hotels anytime I travel. I eat roadside food and manage myself. And sometimes some of my subscribers will even laugh at me for being broke. Yeah, but... I already know it's expensive. I already know what it is like. You said you didn't do research. You went to spend money, came back, and you are saying you are angry. After spending money, they are insulting you. I know the reason you're doing that. You know, as a Nigerian, when you travel out of Nigeria and you make a content talking good of a country you are visiting, a lot of people from Nigeria will be angry with you, especially the Igbos, followed by a few numbers of Yorubas who will be mad at you. Why will you say Ghana is fine? Unnecessarily, you have not compared who. Why will you say Ghana is fine? Why will you say Kenya is fine? Why will you say South Africa is, is the most beautiful? Why will you say that? You see? So now you have realized that traveling is expensive. You are back home and you want to be doing content around home. Now you want to buy their hearts back, the hearts of your people. And you think that by coming out to do that video that you did is the right way to do it. 
apologize to Kenyans and maybe a little bit apologies to Ghanaians. You were the one that sat down to compare. I know most Igbo people may not have attacked you a lot like they would have done if it's me that is not from Igbo, that is not an Igbo person. I would have received a lot of backlash with those your videos because I went through them and you were saying, hey, Kenya is the most this. Kenya is the most this. Kenya is the most that. Ghana is the most this. Ghana is the most that. Now you're saying all that. You're saying all that. Maybe you're saying the truth, which I believe when it comes to Ghana. Yes. I'm, I live here and I like... There's a way Ghana is in a video. I don't know. Like, I'm not getting that energy yet. Places, other places I've been to around, except maybe for my village. There's this greenish. There's a way it gives you. There's a way Ghana comes through in a video. Like, Ghana is cute. You get that? Yes, Ghana is cute. Okay. So, I don't know about Kenya. You said it's cute and people believed you. And now you're angry. You said you have said that. And they, because of that, they have insulted your own country. And because of that, you're not going to travel again. You know, to them, my dear. Now, you, you too. And another thing I want to tell you is you are doing this probably to regain the trust and love of your people because they have felt like you put Nigeria down. I want to tell you that if I were you, the best thing to do right now is to apologize. Make a video talking about it, you know, tell them you are sorry. You didn't know what you were doing. You overreacted because you were angry about one or two, five persons, or maybe 10 out of your 10 whole thousand subscribers. That's a lot of number, babe. So 10,000 human, maybe 50 of them or 100 of them came out to talk ill of your country or you and you find it fit to come out and see that video was full of though you put it in a way that it's so because you didn't frown face you were not aggressive but you were so you were full of just apologize okay apologize to it i am a nigerian i am not arrogant anywhere i go if i don't like that place i won't talk about it the videos i do that i will delete them i won't post that is me for the sake of peace because you said in that video that africans don't value other african countries they are all about them them you know each country for its for itself yes that is true so but what you just did in that video is helping to encourage that some more say uh, because of this african you talked about a kenyan lady that visited abuja and said abuja is the most developed country i mean the most developed city in africa more developed than kenya you didn't even mention her name maybe you forgot it happens but african tigress yeah the lady you're talking about is african tigress she is kenyan she said kenya is beautiful but abuja is more developed yeah it's her opinion did she insult anybody mm? african tigress is so loved even where she had issues with Wodemaya. When she comes to Ghana here, Ghanaians welcome her. They welcome her. Ask Tatiana and the rest and some Ghanaian YouTubers. They welcome her. They love her. They celebrate her. But not that she went, she came to Ghana without hate. A lot of Wodemaya fans, because they find out that they were having issues, they came for her. And most of those fans of Wodemaya are Ghanaians. But will it make African tigress to come and sit down and make a video abusing Ghana? No, she won't. So calm down. Whatever is making you angry, let it go. Make a video and apologize. This is just my own sisterly advice. You don't have to take it, but you know, try at all. Now, you see people tell us you guys are faking for the views. For me, I live in Ghana and I'm still talking about my amazing experiences in Ghana. Of course, when I, I got scammed on mobile money, I come out, I talk, and some people try to silence me. I give it to them, utu, utu. but that doesn't mean I'll come and sit down and make a video and say the whole Ghana, hey, Ghanaians. So what about the, the, the support they have given to you when you were here? I went through your channel. There was a time, in fact, actually, you got monetized in Ghana. I saw that video. You say, oh, you appreciate them that you are monetized or they have helped you. That is the energy that I have come to. That's the energy that Ghanaians and Kenyans give to people on YouTube. But you abusing it will means you trying to set another young Nigerian YouTuber back. You are setting them back. Whoever made you angry has always said, reply these comments as it come your mind. Don't act classy when you know you are dying inside of you. The people that condemn you 
for the people that mostly condemn you for replying your comments in the way you do. If you thrown at them, they can't handle it. So, but don't do them, don't listen to them. When a comment is thrown at you and you feel like this one to pay me, I can't take it, fight back at the comment section. Fight back, tell the person anything you want to tell that person individually, rather than come down, make a whole video, talk about how they are phone snatchers, they are this. You say in Nigeria, they don't snatch phones. <laughs> God, Igbo people will come at me. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not. I, I won't say Nigerians because most of the time, the Igbos will pick on people like me because I'm not from there. Anything I say or do is never good. We get it. They will come at me. Hey, this that one. Me and them, we they will go meet for comment section. Don't worry, we will take care of ourselves down there. But when I'm when I'm punching back, my own is when I'm blowing. When I'm hitting my blow, don't stand on the way because you might lose your front teeth. <laughs> When I reply down there at the comment section, I give it bobos as it's given to me. So you are even lucky you are evil. You've been everywhere. You've been singing praise of Ghana and Ghanaians. You've been singing praise of Kenyans. You said they are amazing. The Igbo people are not even complaining as much as they would have complained or as they have been complaining on my own channel, being that I'm not Igbo. You know? So now you want to look good again in the eyes of your people they're still gonna watch your video if you like it hates if you're hating now and you think okay maybe this hate speech or you point out to your hearts all the things you have experienced if you pour it out the way you did then some people will love you for it they will say go 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 miracle go miracle go for them it's just gonna be for a while okay you see that real love it's not gonna last forever Okay, if you want to change your content, it's okay. Go on and give it a try. Okay, give it a try. You may even excel more, um, more on your new niche than traveling. Rather than sit down and just announce to them now, if you don't want to travel again, don't be by force. Oh, guys, I'm done traveling. It's expensive. Some of you are too, some of you are ashamed to speak the truth. See, you see money. Some people have it. Some of, the, <laughs> some of your subscribers have a lot of money. Some also don't have. They are struggling. But of course, even the ones that don't have, they will laugh at you when you admit that you don't have. But it's up to you to know what you want to do. Rather than allow all that to walk you up and you make a video talking about it's not what it. People say, okay, you Nigerians are faking it. You're doing it for the views. You know, when they see that, they will accuse me. Oh, you're loving Ghana for the views, except for just a uh, few people have, that know me off here. Those ones can attest. They can, they can, they can give their life to, 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 to say that I'm not here for the view. I'm not talking about Ghana for the views. So please try your best and control your emotion. Sometimes it's hard. You know, for those of us in front of the camera every time, it's hard for you to be angry and still come up with a great video. Put your emotions aside. Yeah, people will be wondering, you're giving that guy publicity. For me, I'm a very kind person. I'm giving everybody. After all, she's a Nigerian. And when I want to apply for my passport, if, if I want to apply for Kenya now, and I tell people, and they use that girl's video against me, if I tell them I'm not... Um, if I even, how will I even explain to people that I'm a Nigerian, but this girl is from another part of Nigeria. So I'm speaking up. Oh, she's, whatever she's saying, she's saying it for herself, not for the rest, okay? So, miracle, apologize, okay? Apologize. You hold me nothing, but I feel like you should apologize. You people are your people, your people, your people. One of my very, most of my very good friends, okay, are Igbos, all right? And some of them are here, and some will see this video. But they know, they know that me, where I don't agree with their people, I don't. You see, most of the hate. Majority of the time that you see Nigerians are hated is costly of your people and how you want people to treat you when you go to their land. But when they come to your land, me here, when you go to person, just next door. The way I'm treated, I was, the way I was treated in Nollywood was so bad. I was poorly treated. I was denied roles. In, when I go for audition, I'll win a role. They'll give it to an Igbo girl. You see? So will I now come and say you people are the these people? I'm saying it. Eh? 
You people are the ones that complain the most. You go to Igbo land, if you don't speak Igbo, some people will ignore you. They'll say, why you not speak Igbo? You tell them, I'm not Igbo. They'll say, you should learn it. You, you know, that same you know, now go come Ghana, where Ghanaians, they do like that too. Where we say, majority of the people here, they rather speak their native language. Now, now they complain pass. Some of us went from small tribes for Nigeria. When we come here, we they adjust quickly. We know they, we know they do complain. We go adjust and take it. Apologize to your subscribers for the sake of peace. Apologize because I don't want to hear another person tell me, "Hey, this is how you Nigerians behaves." You because what you did there was just like you actually wanted to use them to grow, and then you success. You know. You successfully grew your channel with all those, hey, they are the most beautiful, they are the most beautiful, and then you're coming back home to sit down and say, you are not doing again, and they should take it. You are not doing again is fine, because nobody sponsor your trips, nobody give you money to travel. If you say you're not doing again, it's okay. But you making that speech, you know, talking about, it's, it doesn't make sense, okay? I hope that this video meets you well. And if you reply anyways, it's good, bad, me, I'm getting used to it online, okay? But if you think what I'm saying is fact, apologize and take it. Mm? Growing the fast way is not a bad idea. What you did there, you used shortcuts to grow your channel. It a course. You see that shortcut? It a course. You, had, you traveled all the way. You had the money. I'm happy for you. You were able to travel around Africa all by yourself. YouTube is not, is not, it doesn't work like that. You see, that's why me, sometimes when my channel do like it wants to collapse, I just look up. I will still be posting my video because one day to pick up. You see, every other, we need time. You just came today, today, you grow it, you gather subscribers. They would think you're using that strategy to gather it. Now you don't know what to do with it. Please, I'm done here. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>